Now, I promise we're going to look at this a bit later, so let's do it. Food pollution or contamination and fibroid risk. So by this, I'm talking about pollution or contamination largely from environmental sources. So this could be pollution of sea or river waters where fish grow, feeds for cattle like grain that's grown in soil that is contaminated and so on. We know that fibroid growth or development depends on hormones via the estrogen and progesterone receptors in the womb. So these contaminants or pollutants can cause ill health by acting as endocrine disrupting chemicals. They're similar to the body's own natural hormones. These EDCs can disrupt the body's endocrine or hormonal system, leading to imbalance in hormone levels. And of course, that can influence fibroids growth. Minimizing your exposure to EDC by avoiding plastic, opting for organic foods, using natural cleaning and personal care products may reduce the risk of fibroids growth and development. We have studies from China and the US that have shown us for women with fibroids who have higher levels of EDCs in their blood and urine samples compared to women who don't have fibroids. Examples of these are bisphenol, nonifenol and octylphenol and phthalates. So whereas some people believe that pollution caused by these EDCs do not impact fibroids, but exposure to them has been linked to hormone imbalance in other people and potentially the growth of fibroids. So it's important to pay attention to that. Related to this is heavy metal. So let's have a little look at them as well. We have studies from Korea, Bulgaria, and China on the link between heavy metals and fibroids growth. And this is important because quite a few of these heavy metals can potentially increase the risk of fibroids growth. They can also be found in the environment as pollutants, or from smoking or from other contaminants in our food. So which heavy metals are we talking about? The ones implicated are trace elements like cadmium, lead, cobalt, chrome, and copper. On the other hand, there are some trace elements, and I mean selenium and zinc, which actually affect fibroids growth when they are low in the body. Mm -hmm. 